Hi Leo, this is Power and Light Tarot coming at you with your September 2018 general reading. I'm Denise um, and as usual I have two decks here for clarification and more thorough messages. Please check your moon and your rising um, and your reading is here and I've clarified all the cards and please give a, a thumbs up, like, share and subscribe and let's get started on your reading. So your overall energy you have the Nine of Cups which talks about wish fulfillment. I feel like you have some kind of a wish, you know, a wish fulfillment um, possibly because you know with the Page of Cups here and the Temperance card possibly because you're open to new love and you're balanced. You're balanced, uh, you're grounded, you're emotionally balanced, and you're open for new love. Um, you know, this could be your wish, too. This could be your wish, right? You know, the Nine of Cups talks about wish fulfillment, but this, this, could, this could be your wish, just to be, possibly to be grounded and open to new love. Um, after poss and also possibly after a betrayal here because what's challenging you here is the three of swords which talks about heartbreak and betrayal can also talk about a third party situation so clarifying the three of swords is the magician and the strength card I feel like you know this is your challenge for your wish you know also going back here with this page of cups somebody could have invited you to something that could have been your wish somebody could have made an offer here the pages you know the page of cups can offer his cup here could have been a Sagittarian with the temperance card but now the challenge is the three of swords so with this betrayal kind of challenging you here um, I feel like you had to be the magician and be strong about it because those are the cards that are clarifying the Three of Swords. So, why it's all happening, the root here is there's a love connection here, a serious connection. The Two of Cups is here, which talks about soulmates. So, that's why this is all happening with the Two of Cups. Now, the Two of Cups is here clarified by the Ace of Wands and the Ten of Swords. So, you know, with these cards here, I feel like, you know, there is a, there's a deep connection with somebody. There's a soulmate connection. And there is a new beginning after betrayal here, after the Ten of Swords. The Ten of Swords is over. This betrayal is, you know, is over. The ten is a completion. So, you know, it could be that, you know, you have been offered a new beginning, possibly, with the soulmate connection after they betrayed you. The energy can go either way, but I feel like you're the one who's being betrayed here. Okay, Leo. I hope I didn't say cancer. <laughs> um, let's go on with your reading. So now I have, in the past, we have the Two of Pentacles. We have the Empress card and the, and the Knight of Wands. So, you know, in the past, somebody was juggling. Could have been an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. But somebody's juggling. Somebody was juggling in the recent past. And, you know, they could have been juggling you and an Empress. The Empress is a Libra or Taurus. But, you know, with betrayal here, it, it could easily be that somebody was juggling you and, and, uh, and this Empress. And whoever was juggling you, I feel like this person is the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is in and out. The Knight of Wands is, you know, happy to see you and happy to go. Because they don't stick around. They're usually charming, good-looking types, charismatic. 
So in your conscious influence, you have the Six of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, and the Nine of Pentacles. Now, the Six of Swords shows up in your reading here again. The Strength card uh, is in your reading twice, and you are the Strength. You are also the Sun. Uh, Leo rules the Strength and the Sun card. But um, the Two of Pentacles is here twice. I feel like there's a, you know, there's a basic theme here, right? Somebody was seriously juggling and um, there's been heartbreak and you're just thinking of moving on here with the Six of Swords. You could be just moving on in your head, right? Because these are swords and they talk about mental energy, you know, being conflicted sometimes. But I feel like, you know, this is what's going on right now, your conscious influence, which is the Six of Swords um, moving to calmer waters. I feel like you're moving, you know, you want to move to calmer waters to have a new beginning. And a new beginning as the Nine of Pentacles, which is the ultimate independence card. Okay. So the Nine of Pentacles talks about somebody who can take care of themselves, take care of themselves. They have abundance. They're confident, they're happy, they're fine to be alone, they have everything they need. They have lots of confidence. Did I say that? And they have nice clothes and lots of coins, okay? So so we don't need any jerk betray betrayal. Anybody who wants to betray, right? So let's go on with your reading here. So now we have, in the near future, we have the Hierophant with the Two of Pentacles again, which talks about juggling. Um, could be juggling a decision. But up here, you know, in the recent past, somebody was juggling an Empress. And they, they could have been a, a, a fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. But definitely there was somebody who was not just only juggling a decision, juggling uh, partners here. So this is in your near future, the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus. And the Two of Pentacles are here and the Six of Cups. So I feel like in the near future, you know, you're either going to be... The, the Hierophant card can talk about a few things. It can talk about, you know, marriage, commitment, relationship, like traditional relationship. It can also talk about having the keys to a situation. Okay, um, it's here with the Two of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. So I feel like in the near future, you know, you could be dealing right now with somebody from your past with the Six of Cups. You know, you could also just be thinking, you could also be having uh, good memories about, I'm not sure here, but it could be about, you know, it could be about somebody who is juggling you, and they could be from your past, right? But I feel like, you know, in the near future, you're going to have, you're either going to be dealing with somebody who's married already, and that could be this betrayal here. They could be married to this empress. But you're either going to be, you could be getting married. You could. You could be getting married here. Um, the Hierophant card talks about marriage and, as I mentioned, uh, traditional relationships. Can also talk about belief systems, the church, corporations. But I feel like in the near future, you're either going to be getting into a commitment, possibly with somebody who is juggling you. Um, they could have been juggling a decision. Okay, but there is some serious juggling going here. And somebody from your past. Also, you could be dealing with somebody in your, in your future. They could be married, as I said. Okay. So, anyway, um, that's going to be your reading. That's the, uh, that's the first part of your reading. Um... Leo, and we're going to continue your reading where you're showing up here as the Sun card and the Strength card as well. 
We're going to continue your reading uh, for more insight and, you know, more guidance. All right. So um, please click on the link below uh, for the Vimeo readings and we'll see you over there.